Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In the second 2023 Express Entry Draw, IRCC invites 5,500 applicants. The unexpected Express Entry Draw by the IRCC was the second in a row. The IRCC has already extended invitations to 11,000 Express Entry candidates in 2023, which is the program's fastest ever launch. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss the recent update on Canada immigration. So, to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. On January 18, 2023, Canada hosted its second express entry draw of the calendar year. A minimum comprehensive ranking system score of 490 was required for invitations to be sent out to 5,000. 500 candidates by Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada. Since no specific program was mentioned, qualified applicants from the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Canadian Experience Class, and the Federal Skilled Trades Program were all encouraged to apply. All of these initiatives work with the Express Entry Framework as the second Express Entry round of invites in as many weeks. The draw was unexpected on January 11. The IRCC had just completed a draw for which it had also invited 5,500 applicants. The CRS cutoff score decreased by 17 points between draws, falling to 507 for last week's draw. The score for this draw was originally published by IRCC as 507, but it has now been changed to the accurate 490 the first draw since November 23, 2022, was last week every two weeks on Wednesdays, express entry drawings often take place. Well, the IRCC has not explained why there was a break in draws during this time however. The fact that drawings have occurred in consecutive weeks to begin 2023 suggests that IRCC wants to bring in more skilled immigrants this year. The 11,000 ITAs already granted surpass the previous record of 10,000 ITAs issued in January 2021 20, to represent Express Entry's quickest start since it was introduced in 2015. Express Entry offers the quickest service standard of all of Canada's more than 100 distinct skilled immigration channels, granting permanent residency to the majority of successful applicants in under six months Express Entry's quick start to the year, is a part of what is probably going to be a busy year for the primary skilled immigration channel of the IRCC. Well, the IRCC is creating categories for certain express entry draws the IRCC has been working to develop additional draw categories for applicants in express entry programs ever since Bill C-19 gained royal assent in June of last year. This is a significant change from the current practice of selecting applicants purely based on a high score inside the comprehensive ranking system CRS. In its most recent action, the IRCC finished a round of public and stakeholder consultations to better understand Canada's most pressing talent gaps. All applicants must be qualified to apply the current Express Entry Application Management System. Regardless of category before invites are sent out, the categories will be disclosed when the Minister makes a decision. Now, the possible categories for targeted draws. The categories will be determined by a candidate's characteristics, including their profession, employment history, level of education, and language proficiency by welcoming individuals who are better qualified to address critical labor shortages. The Immigration Minister claims that this will help Canada's economic interests. There may be draws to select express entry candidates who have particular job experience pertinent to a high-demand industry. Additionally, if the student possesses a degree or diploma from a designated learning institution in an in-demand sector, IRCC may develop categories to assist foreign students in Canada in becoming permanent residents through express entry. For similar reasons, temporary residents are being treated as a separate group. It has been discovered that people with prior short-term job experience in Canada integrate more successfully into the labor market, and are better able to transfer their talents when necessary. As the government works to fulfill its duty to promote Canada's bilingual character and address labor gaps in areas where knowing French is required for a job, skilled immigrants who speak French may also have an advantage in acquiring an ITA. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. 
Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.